Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at one of the new features in Photoshop Elements 14 and that is Smart Filters. Now you're supposed to be able to open these photos and then it's going to give you five suggestions on what would make your photo look better. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can open your file or open your picture from the file open menu or if you're on this E live at the top you can just select open right here and you can select your photo now I've got a photo of my dog Rhea I'm gonna zoom out right here so you can see it all at 100 percent and I was hiking in the Colorado mountains and you can see some of the fall foliage it looks okay you've got some of the yellow on the ground you got some of the yellow in the trees but I'd like to see what Photoshop elements can do as a smart fix. We have the adjustments right here at the very bottom on the right hand side. These are the smart adjustments and the smart fixes if you want to fix them. But if we want to go under effects, we click the effects tab right here and at the very top you have what we call smart looks. If you click the down arrow, these are the suggested effects that Photoshop says will make your photo look better. Now, as a default, you have the after view right here, but I want to see the before and after. So if we click this down arrow at the very top here, we can use the before and after and see what our photo is going to look like. Now these are the suggestions under the smart looks. This is the first one. This is my original. And then it's telling me that it would look better with a little bit more fall colors right here. I'm clicking through all these different ones and I really don't like the suggestions that they give me. But I will tell you that if you scroll down, there are some other ones that are pretty nice. I'm going to click the down arrow right here next to where it says Seasons. And then I'm going to select right here at the top. And you can see that it brightened up some of these yellows right here. It was a little dull on this left side. And if you look over here, it looks pretty nice on the leaves you've got the nice bright yellow right here I don't really like any of the other ones but if you scroll down you can see some of the other ones the black and white looks pretty nice right here I'm going to pick from the different black and whites right there that looks pretty good and then if we go down to the split toning right here you can see that there's some of the blues and some of the more purplish looking black and whites right there it's fair to say that the smart looks would probably work better if you have a lot of vibrant colors or if you're just trying to add a little bit of quick punch to your colors. But as far as I can tell in the smart looks, it's okay and you might like some of the effects that it has, but I'm not too overly impressed with what the suggestions are in Photoshop Elements. I would give this a rating of nice to have, but it is nothing that you would want to upgrade if you have a previous version of Photoshop Elements, maybe 13 or 12, and you're looking at whether or not it's worth the upgrade. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the smart effects in Photoshop Elements 14. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. You can also look for more videos at simplyawesomephotography.com. You can always contact me via message or you can put a comment because I read all the comments that are left underneath these videos. Cheers!